What's up guys, it's your boy Big Guy Journey And today I bring you Fat, Broke, and Single Podcast Listen, you may not be all three But perhaps, perhaps you struggle with one You know, we all kind of got our little areas that we need work on It just so happened I found myself in a place where I needed all three. I was fat, I was broke, and I was single. And over this journey, I've learned a lot. And I just call myself now, just kind of giving the game, like, like touching on some of the things that I've learned. And although my journey isn't finished because I'm still single, <laughs> I'm still not at my ideal weight, but I'm not that fat obese dude that I used to be. So I want to talk to you today uh, and uh, we're just going to kind of go through this journey and every week I'm going to come to you with something new, something that I've had on my mind, something that's been marinating, something that I've actually used. And then that I'm going to also bring some other people because I've met a lot of people. I got a big network and I, and I got some people that I've getting a lot of insight from mentors, coaches and stuff like that. And I'm going to bring them on in the podcast to share them with you. And so again, like I said, you may not be fat, broke, and single, but perhaps you're one. And if that is you, this is your home. This is your home. So I appreciate you for rocking with me. Let's get right into it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start actually with something that I've been working on. It's actually a, a little segment from my book, and we're just gonna talk about this. We're, I haven't even have a, I haven't even came up with a name for the book yet, but perhaps you can help me decide, right? But look, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna read some of it to you, and we're gonna touch on this. Listen, so decide, homicide, suicide were the loud, glaring words that I heard echoing through the jam-packed convention center. John Edison. CEO of Prime America was delivering an awesome motivational speech that would be seared in my mind forever. He followed with the words SID, C-I-D-E, and its definition, denoting an act of killing. So as the next words flew out of his mouth, the sea of 15,000 sales associates erupted like a raging volcano. The death of all other options. Decide. You have to make a decision. The power of his words combined with the energy of the room sent chills through my then 400 plus pound body as I sat in the cramped seats from the nosebleed section. I was pumped, and so was the rest of the room. Unfortunately, the chills didn't last long. Think about that. So the gentleman, John Edison, was delivering a speech, and I was at this, this convention center with all of these different people, all of these people trying to get motivated because we wanted to go back into the sales force and we wanted to dominate. But see, the thing about it is, is motivation doesn't always last because motivation usually is only there. It is only there. Then you should find your math. That was just a little plug from the last drag. I'm sorry. I kind of get off. I kind of get off track a little bit when I, when my, when I get a little quote from my favorite movie, but look, but motivation tends to leave after the person who is motivating you leave. But he said you have to decide. You have to make a decision. So the CIDE denoting the act of killing, the same as hom homicide and suicide, decide, D-I-C-E, the decision. That means if I decided, I'm, 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 I'm firm, I'm planted, I'm cemented right here. There's no other place for me to go. And that's where we have to get to the place we got to make up our mind. We have to decide. There's no other option for me. I have to lose this weight. There's no other option to me. I can't stay broke. There's no other option for me. I don't want to be lonely. So guess what? You got to put yourself out there. You got to work on yourself. You got to work on your health. You got to work on your mindset. All of these different things are pretty much mindset. And the one thing that I found is that the success principles, they work across the board 
whatever you put it to. So say for instance, after I lost 200 and some pounds, well, I didn't tell you that, right? 218 pounds to exact. After I lost the 218 pounds, I felt motivated to what? Write a book. And guess what? I'm the type of person that hated English. I didn't like reading. I didn't like none of that stuff, but I wanted to write a children's book. I had something in me that I needed to get out and I didn't know how to do it. But guess what? I decided that I was going to do it. And once I decided I was going to do it, I went and did it. I created and I became a published author. And so the first step is decision. You have to make a decision because guess what? Any, any, any diet to do, there's many ways of being successful. There's tons of women out there. There's tons of men out there. You just got to decide that this is what you want. And, and once you make the decision, people say it's the universe. You know, I, I say God or Yah. Yah's principles work for all the just and the unjust. And so if you're doing the proper activity, the rest to happen. And so you make the decision first and then you say, you know what? Okay, let me find out how I got to do it. It's kind of like this podcast, right? I've been sitting up here saying, I'm going to make a podcast. I'm going to make a podcast. But guess what? I hadn't even done the first step. I hadn't even looked into podcast hosts. But here it is now because I made this decision this morning that, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this podcast. I went and found a host. I watched a couple videos and here it is. I'm off on my first podcast podcast stream and you're here with me to hear it thank you for being here <laughs> but it's great because i made a decision and now i'm doing it and guess what it's going to get easier and easier and, I, and i'm going to get better and better and you're going to love it more and more but it's all about making a decision first you have to decide you have to decide and once you decide, you got to go after it. And you can't just always wait on motivation because motivation is tied to emotions. It's not all about emotion. You don't want to do it when you feel like it because you got to do those things when you don't feel like it, too. And that's probably for a later podcast, but it's called the slight edge, the slight edge philosophy. Doing the daily disciplines, day after day after day after week after week after month after month, no matter how you feel it of or not. You know, they say F your feelings. I don't cuss. So I say F your feelings. Forget your feelings. Take feelings out of it. You just got to know. Uh, there's a lady named Mel Robinson, and she has the five second rule training your brain, training your body, training your psyche. To launch five, four, three, two, one, blast off. If you program yourself, then once you start this cycle, you'll just do it. You can't do it the other way because if you say one, two, three, four, five, you end up saying six. <laughs> it gotta be the countdown in reverse. Psychology, you psych yourself out into this launching out of bed in the morning or 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 launching into a decision that you've been struggling your struggling with yourself with. That's something that you can use. There's all different kind of things you can use. But first, you have to focus on the mindset. The mindset is the most important key. So decide. Decide. And here's another one. One of my mentors used to say, act. A-C-T. It's getting your actions consistent with your thoughts. Because we think a lot, right? You're always thinking of something. You think, 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 think. But you got to get your actions consistent with your thoughts. And so this is the first episode of the podcast. Fat, broke, and single. The whole goal is to not stay fat, not to stay single, not to stay broke. And this is our journey that we're going to take together, right? So I appreciate you for coming and listening and tuning in. I try to make this short and quick and precise to the point for you because I know a lot of people don't have a long uh, attention span. But as we grow and you get to know me, we'll go longer. All right? Take care. Take charge. And may I bless you.